Part 1. Listen to the full conversation. Hey, have you ever wondered about assets and liabilities? Yeah, a bit. Assets are things you own that have value, right? Exactly. Like your house or car. They're assets because they can be sold for money. Oh, got it. And liabilities are debts or something? You nailed it. Liabilities are what you owe, like loans or credit card debt. So, assets increase your wealth and liabilities do the opposite? That's the basic idea. If your assets are worth more than your liabilities, you're in good shape financially. What about things like jewelry or electronics? Are they assets? Yep, they can be. If they hold value and can be sold, they're considered assets. But what if I take a loan to buy a car? Is the car still an asset? Good question. In that case, the car is still an asset, but the loan becomes a liability. So, it's not just about what you own, but also what you owe. Precisely. Your net worth is what you own, minus what you owe. I see. It's like a financial balance then. Absolutely. And it's essential to have more assets than liabilities for financial stability. Makes sense. What about investments? Are they assets too? Yes. Investments like stocks or real estate are assets. They have the potential to grow in value over time. Cool. But isn't there some risk with investments? True. There's always a risk. Investments can go up or down in value, unlike a stable asset like a house. Ah, uh, got it. So, it's about balancing risks and rewards? Exactly. It's all part of managing your financial portfolio. Speaking of portfolios, how do you diversify assets? Diversifying means spreading your investments across different types, like stocks, bonds, and real estate. It helps manage risk. That sounds smart. And what about emergency funds? Are they assets? Great point. Emergency funds are like a safety net. They're not investments, but they're liquid assets you can quickly access in a pinch. Liquid assets? Assets you can convert to cash easily, like savings accounts or some investments. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, it's not just about having assets, but having the right kinds. Spot on. And understanding the difference between assets and liabilities is the first step. Thanks for breaking it down. It's clearer now. No problem. It's essential to have a solid grasp of these concepts for financial well-being. Definitely. I'll start paying more attention to my assets and liabilities from now on. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, have you ever wondered about assets and liabilities? Exactly. Like your house or car. They're assets because they can be sold for money. You nailed it. Liabilities are what you owe, like loans or credit card debt. That's the basic idea. If your assets are worth more than your liabilities, you're in good shape financially. Yep, they can be. If they hold value and can be sold, they're considered assets. Good question. In that case, the car is still an asset, but the loan becomes a liability. Precisely. Your net worth is what you own, minus what you owe. Absolutely. And it's essential to have more assets than liabilities for financial stability.
Yes, investments like stocks or real estate are assets. They have the potential to grow in value over time. True, there's always a risk. Investments can go up or down in value, unlike a stable asset like a house. Exactly. It's all part of managing your financial portfolio. Diversifying means spreading your investments across different types, like stocks, bonds, and real estate. It helps manage risk. Great point. Emergency funds are like a safety net. They're not investments, but they're liquid assets you can quickly access in a pinch. Assets you can convert to cash easily, like savings accounts or some investments. Spot on. And understanding the difference between assets and liabilities is the first step. No problem. It's essential to have a solid grasp of these concepts for financial well-being. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Yeah, a bit. Assets are things you own that have value, right? Oh, got it. And liabilities are debts or something? So, assets increase your wealth and liabilities do the opposite? What about things like jewelry or electronics? Are they assets? But what if I take a loan to buy a car? Is the car still an asset? So, it's not just about what you own, but also what you owe. I see. It's like a financial balance then. Makes sense. What about investments? Are they assets too? Cool. But isn't there some risk with investments? Ah, got it. So, it's about balancing risks and rewards? Speaking of portfolios, how do you diversify assets? That sounds smart. And what about emergency funds? Are they assets? Liquid assets? Ah, gotcha. So, it's not just about having assets, but having the right kinds. Thanks for breaking it down. It's clearer now. Definitely. 
I'll start paying more attention to my assets and liabilities from now on.